I was having um, another like kind of moment the other day where um, I was reminiscing back to like my early, early days of when I got hurt, like when I was still in the spinal cord injury rehab hospital. When you were just a young wheelie boy. When I was just a brand new wheelie boy. And like all the people that I like looked up to and imitated because they had been wheeling around for longer than I had. Five years, 10 years, 15 years. I don't even remember. I think, but I, I, I mean, I, I watched everything they did. I watched how they pushed. I watched what kind of wheelchair they had. I watched how they transferred. I asked them like, what kind of like, you know, like has they used or, you know, how they traveled or what their hobbies were or, you know, what type of, you know, new invention they were making to scoot around on or whatever. I mean, I'm, I was just like, just like, I want to be like that guy because they're like your mentors. To, to, well, yeah, it was just like they looked cool. You know, like Kyle would like teach you like, dude, don't do your weight transfers like that. You look like a fucking idiot. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's like, you look like, <laughs> you look like you're about to shit your pants. Looks like you're trying to take a poop. You know, he's like, don't, <laughs> don't do your weight shifts like that. I mean, I think about, there's three people that I have in mind. I, there's, there's Kyle, there's Pete and there's Jeremy. And like all three of those guys still to this day are like just crushing it. Like Jeremy, like operate like a really successful business and runs his own farm and ranch and goes hunting. And like Pete has a couple of kids and like some really cool dogs and goes racing and, you know, builds his own, you know, like inventions and like cool stuff like that. Like Kyle also goes racing is like way into cars, like go is a super foodie, like loves traveling, like really um, like is a, is a professional worker. Like he, makes a lot of money designing like really cool buildings and stuff like that. Has a bunch of sweet cars. Sweet cars. Yeah. And so it's like, I, those are the type of guys that I wanted to be around and what I want to hang around and what I wanted to, you know, emulate. And I kind of had this like moment that like hit me where I'm like, Oh shit. Like I'm that to other people, mm-hmm. but like more people. And, and how it hit me was like one of those guys texted me and was like, Hey man, what you're doing is awesome. Like I've re I've connected with so many dudes in chairs that say that your videos have helped them. And he's like, that's awesome. He's like, I'm so happy for you, for you that you found an outlet to help people and that you're a great communicator on camera and that you're talking about things that people just don't talk about, you know, everything from, you know, avoiding depression and addiction and like doing your weight shifts. And he's like, just all this, you know, all this stuff that like, people just don't talk about. And he's like, I, I love talking to people that have seen and watch your videos because I know I'm going to like them. Yeah. You know? And it's like, it's just like that, that kind of just blows your mind. It blows my freaking mind because I'm able to do what they did for me, but at a bigger scale. And that makes me so happy. Like I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like my, unit of measure is not views it's not subscribers it's not dollars it's the people that send me messages in the dms or in emails or who you know tag me in their posts and just tell the story of how some way shape or form i had given them like confidence or i'd help them shift their perspective or that you know they're they're doing better or they've changed their mind about, or they haven't committed suicide or they, or they got off drugs or yeah, all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, dude. and that's the kind of thing that I'm like, fucking hell dude. Like those messages will make you cry. Dude, this is dude, that whole book is full of those types of messages. Yeah, dude. Like I just, it just hit me. Like I, I knew, I knew I was that kind of person. Like, and I knew I was that, I was really important and really impactful. <laughs> it keeps drooping yeah, on I'm, you. Whatever. Your I'm just, microphone I'm going to quit messing with it. Um, but I, forgotten how important those people were to me in the beginning and I made a fatal mistake in the beginning which was after I kind of was like around them for a while I those those guys they were the I thought they're the cool you know the cool ones but then there was a bunch of people that I thought were like not cool that I like didn't want to hang out with and then I ended up like separating myself completely from the disability community because I thought like all right dog I've graduated like yeah I use a wheelchair but that doesn't mean I need these people anymore Mm. And, you know, I kind of like took away my own support system, you know, and I wish I would have kept that longer. I wish I would have continued with adaptive sports. I wish I would have continued, you know, connecting with these people, continued 
getting involved in the groups, but I, I just, I didn't cause I was too busy yeah. trying to quote unquote, get my life back, which I mean, I did, but I think I really do believe that a big detriment was that I didn't keep at least some of myself still in those, in those groups. Yeah. Um, instead of completely just like ripping the cord and being like, I'm done hanging out with these wheelchair people, you know, like mm -hmm. I just like, I, it was my own ableism, you know, towards myself, but towards all the rest of them that I was like, Ugh. But, yeah. but, but now it's so the opposite, you know, I like even my Instagram is almost all other wheelchair users. You know, I love talking about wheelchair stuff. I love hanging out with, you know, it, at events and, you know, I love, it's just fun for me, you know, like I, I really yeah. appreciate it's it. It's cool to be like more in the community and all that. Yeah, because cause also when you think about, like, mentors and people that, like, change your life, you put them up, up on such a pedestal that y to even imagine that anyone thinks that you're that to them or and maybe even more is, like, crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bonkers, but, like, in the best way possible. Like, I'm super grateful. Yeah. You know, and I even think it's about, like... That so that's even a possibility. Well, even the fact that, like, people that I've interacted with on the regular or not on the regular or whatever, you know, just people are hitting me up like, yo, big dog, you good? You know, like mm -hmm. people are like legitimately like, Hey man, is everything all right? Like I haven't seen you around. I haven't talked to you. Like I haven't texted you. Like, I don't know this, this whole accident, you know, the being hit by the car and like the whole blood clot thing. And you know, like that really humanized me a lot. Mm. Um, not that I, wasn't human you know i'm very open about my past and I, I tell my stories and i talk about whatever but um i think there's this perception and like this invincible superhuman but that's so not true and i think you know this this accident or whatever is has helped kind of humanize me to the point where it's With like your audience yeah it's like oh even superman can have bad days yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. oh, even, even he gets sad or like, oh, even he deals with, yeah, you know, like, like just blood clots and medicines and skin sores and pain and, you know, just like whatever. It's like, oh, like he also is one of us. Like he's not this magical, you know, unobtainable creature that, you know, yeah, exists well, in the ether. Yeah, exactly. Because also you, you always talk about how you've overcome all these things in the past and it's almost kind of like you're out on the other side, but there's still like ups and downs. Like it's not just like, oh, I was way down here and now I'm just up on here and now it's just a rocket ship to the moon forever. Yeah, I still have my dips and I think that that I have now been able to expose my process. Yeah. When before I, I wasn't able to, you know, like I talked to, yeah, that makes sense. to two guys last night that I hadn't seen in a while. And one of them was like, yo, bro, honestly, like, this is such a, like, a testament to your character. He's like, you you didn't have to pull over. He's like, there's more capable people that could have pulled over and could have helped. And you decided to just jump out and do it anyway. And he goes, and also the fact that you've very quickly, relatively, you know, like, overcome this. Like, you're doing good. Like, you're talking about being back in the gym. You're out here at the social event. Like, you're getting back to work, like all this stuff is good. He's like, you're you're eight weeks away from almost dying. Like you got yeah. hit by a like you're almost you got hit by a car. He's like, so he's like, it's really it's a testament to character because it's clear that you practice what you preach, you know. And I'm like, damn, I never thought of it that way. But it's like yeah. it's true. And it's you know, kind of going back to what I was saying in the beginning is like I get annoyed at some of the stuff that I say in my videos now because I'm now going through it. You know, like I was watching some old dumb workout video or something and like at the end of it, it was like, I said something like, no one cares about your excuses. Shut up. Do the work. And I was like, fuck you, past Richard. <laughs> fuck you. I've got excuses I and got people excuses. do care about them. I'm like, oh, you up on some personal development bullshit. You know, like I was just so <laughs> like, I was like mad at my past self. And I'm like, oh, I get why there's people that initially when they see me or watch they my hate, videos are like, they're like, they're like, fuck this guy, man. He's full of bullshit. He doesn't even know what it's like to be in the real world. He's he's a fake paraplegic. He's over there hobbling around Just on a, his two legs. A, a fake paraplegic who doesn't have any real problems, who doesn't understand pain. You know, it's like, yeah. It's like, nah, dude. It's like, I, I, I get it. Uh, but this is, your microphone keeps drooping every time you every try to fix it. Every time I try to do it, here, it, it, goes, let, let it, me, it goes floppy dick on uh, me. Yeah, here. So so basically, is that the right way? I don't know. Ready? But no. I have two. Here we go. Very, there, yeah. I've got there we go. 
I've got two very weak. Let's give a round of applause, everyone. Yeah, I've got two very Truly weak. Microphone everyone clap at home. Got fixed. Like dexterity. <laughs> everyone pull over in your cars and clap. <laughs> like my dexterity is is currently like crap because like my wrists are so jacked up right now yeah. that like that little movement I could pro- not do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and your elbow is crunchy. I got it crunchy. Crunchy. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode that that clip was from, you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click right here. And if you want to watch more clips, we got two more right here.